I think some of y'all have heard about this, but have you, y'all, y'all know that there's always some sort of um, Hollywood celebrity getting a wax figure made of themselves. We've seen Michael Jackson. Have y'all seen the Little Wayne one? I mean, listen, Lil Wayne is a very um interesting looking person, <clears throat> but his wax figure, yikes, yikes. Um, but recently, The Rock has had a wax figure made of him as well. And The Rock is probably one of the most recognizable people on this planet. Because as a celebrity, as like one of the top selling superstars, everybody knows Dwayne The Rock Johnson. But apparently, the people in France don't know who the hell Dwayne The Rock Johnson is. Because y'all, they done made this man's wax figure. And I don't know if this is Dwayne The Rock Johnson or if it's Vin Diesel or who is who is this man? Who is this man? Harpo, who is this white man? Who, 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 this one right here? Who this man right here? Because I don't know who the, L- LaRock? Is that what we call him? LaRock? L- out here looking like Mr. Clean? Like what? Are you kidding me? How? How did y'all do this? How did? Like what? Like we looking at the same guy, right? So, I don't understand. They made this man look so white. And it's ridiculous. Now, of course, you know the internet going internet. We blasted the mess out of this, right? And of course, word got to the rock, right? The rock, you know, uh, uh couldn't help it. He heard about all the 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 people were tagging him, and this was trending. And uh he responded to this. He actually posted something on his um on his uh social media. Now, now I know <laughs> personally, I think Vin Diesel has something to do with this. Personally, you know, I'm I'm I, but th- that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there, but um, the Rock did post a comment about this, and this is what he ended up saying. Um, you know, he said, "For the record, I'm going to have my team reach out to our friends at the Grevin Museum in Paris, France, so we can work on updating my wax figure here with some important details and improvements, starting with my skin color. And next time I'm in Paris, I'll stop in and have a drink with myself." Now, there you go. Now, shout out to The Rock for being a bigger person, laughing this off. That was great. You know, definitely, definitely like the fact that, you know, um, that he was willing to uh, do that um, with, um, you know, with uh, uh, the museum. But so the museum did update the picture. They updated, not the picture. They updated the wax figure. This is what the new updated rock wax figure looks like. This is it. This is the before. This is the after. Can y'all tell the difference? What did they do? Because I'm sitting here wondering, like, look, look, look. First of all, I like this comment. Hold on. What was this comment? Somebody was like, E-Man, no side-by-side comparison? No si-. I'm like, bro, that is the side-by-side comparison. That's it. This is it. <laughs> like, I mean, what did y'all do? Because it looked like all y'all did was just dim the lights. Y'all said, okay, y'all, y'all want dark rock? All right, darker rock. That dark rock. Y'all put them in a shadow? Yeah, what what? What? Who would... I don't understand. I don't I don't understand this. But here's here's if you think this is just kind of crazy and ridiculous, I want y'all to actually listen to what the museum had to say. Listen to this. So Museum said here, we found The Rock's reaction rather friendly when addressing the fact that his figure was indeed whiter than it should have been. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, we didn't go meet Dwayne Johnson, so we used several photos. But as it turns out, pictures can be very tricky because the nuances of skin tones can differ depending on the photos. Every time the sculptor has to determine the exact face and body shapes, the volumes and it's always a very complicated challenge if we haven't met the person. So I can understand you haven't met the person. So things could be a little tricky. I get that. Uh oh, maybe his eyebrow isn't as thick, or maybe his cheekbone ain't that. I get that. But you mean to tell me? 
that when you looked at the rock for all these pictures, y'all couldn't figure out his skin tone. So by default, you said, let's make him white. You can't figure that out off of pictures. Cap. Let me ask. Let me, let's just do something real quick, real quick, real quick. Y'all tell me, y'all tell me. We just been go do a quick Google search. The Rock. Which one of these he look white in? Where 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 do you see white? I, this is just a The Rock. Google The Rock. Where is he white? Just where? Where? I mean, he's side by side with an actual white guy right there, right there. But this is The Rock's daddy. That's his daddy. Y'all couldn't, listen, y'all couldn't even give this man a tan. You could have at least given him a tan. Pretend, just pretend. If you're going to act like he white, pretend he a white guy with a tan. That you could have gotten closer there. So I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not buying that. I'm not buying that arguably one of the most popular human beings on the planet. You can't tell what complexion he is because you never met him in person. They had some more to say. Um. It says here, this has nothing to do, you know, uh, with whitewashing. It has nothing to do with it. We just made an honest mistake based on the photos we looked at. After all, after we saw all these reactions on different blogs and social networks, we changed it immediately. Who the hell is this? Who is this? This was the change? This is the updated figure. Y'all would walk around and be like, oh, yeah, that's the rock. That's him. I'm sorry, but I feel a little triggered when you sit here and tell me that because you've never seen this guy in person and I still want to know what photos you looked at, I'm a little triggered at the fact that it was an honest mistake. No, that's called white supremacist ideology where you think whiteness is so much the norm that you can't even conceptualize a brown-skinned, non-white person as not being white. That's not an honest mistake. That's a messed up ideology. That's what that is. Because I ain't never seen y'all. I ain't no listen. I have never seen y'all do a white wax celebrity figure and make them darker. Have y'all seen that? Has that happened? Have y'all ever seen a white celebrity with dark skin and they be like, ah, we never met them. Ah, you know, it was an honest mistake. But y'all do this with dark-skinned folks where you happen to make them lighter than they really are. That's not an honest mistake. That's a problem with the mentality. Ugh, it's annoying. It's annoying. I could see if you did this with some random person that nobody knew about. But come on now, it's the freaking Rock. Everybody knows the Rock. The Rock goes international and people know who he is. Come on now. And even if you don't know who he is, you are an artist, an artist. That means that you know how to, if you can, you can literally carve out the human body. If I had done that, this man would have been looking like a melted Play-Doh figure or something. Y'all are actually the top of your craft. You couldn't take two more minutes to, I don't know, watch a movie? You couldn't watch, this man was in the Nation of Domination. Y'all remember the Nation of Domination in WWF? Y'all remember, y'all, what kind of homework are y'all doing? This makes no sense. I'm sorry. I'm not giving you an excuse to lazy ignorance. You're not getting excused for that. Honest mistake. My what? How much did you get paid for this? Did you get paid $5? I'm pretty sure you didn't. Somebody paid y'all good money to take that much time and effort and research to do this. And you got called out because nobody's ever called you out on the fact that y'all low key have this racist mentality where whiter is better doesn't mean that you hate blackness. It just means that you don't conceptualize melanin, apparently. That's a problem. If you're an artist and you're going to depict people, take the time, take the effort to depict them accurately. Because if you can't do it, then don't. Just don't. Anyway, I'm glad The Rock had a sense of humor about this. Um, that's great. I mean, we all laughed about it, but I just didn't really like this uh, that, that response. Because the response, it's like, look, take responsibility. Don't try and make excuses for yourself. 
you know, and it's still, I don't even know if an excuse would have worked anyway, but whatever. What do y'all think about um whoever the hell this is? I, I still don't know who who this is, but what do y'all think about the rocks, wax figures, um, and uh the depiction of them? Um this, what they really said, ah oh, ha, beaucoup, oui, bien bien, ooh, yes. <laughs> y'all really thought y'all had it, huh? So the internet had to call y'all in check. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below because this is wild, wild. Thank you so much for watching. This was just the segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.